So here I met my friend Faye. Faye, there is that one person who would like to visit Kenya. Advise them something. Oh. Give them an advice. Kenya is good. Yeah. They are not welcome. They are welcome. Mm -hmm. Wow. Then we are in a celebration mode today. What are we celebrating? Today, Uduma Day. Uduma Day? Uh -huh. Oh. Every Kenyan is mentioning a different day, but I understand it, it all depends with the generation you belong. Because millennials are calling the day Moi Day. You guys are the Gen Z's. You calling it Oduma Day? There is that other person calling it Mazingira Day. Someone is calling it Mashuja Day. I really don't understand which is which. Welcome to the most underrated city in the world and one of the most beautiful cities we have in Africa, Nairobi. Nairobi is derived from a Maasai word, Enkare Nairobi, meaning a place of cold waters. <laughs> Nairobi brags to be the only city in the world with a game park at the city center, which is so much common at the green city below the sun. Anytime I'm joining this beautiful city, regardless of whether I use downtown or uptown, I always find something unique, something new to talk about. Like today, it's a public holiday, a very big day in this beautiful country. And guess what? Instead of Kenyans being in a stadium celebrating with their president, Kenyans are on the streets doing business as usual. Instead of Kenyans, going to their homes and celebrating with their loved ones, they choose to be at work. Every Kenyan is mentioning a different day, but I understand it all, it all depends with the generation you belong, because millennials are calling the day Moi Day. You guys are the Gen Z's. You calling it Oduma Day? There is that other person calling it Mazingira Day. Someone is calling it Mashuja Day. I really don't understand which is which. <laughs> but Kenya is a good place, right? Uh -huh. Wow. Then you need to remind them that Nairobi um, is the only city with a national park, with a game park at the center of the city. Exactly. Sure. Yeah. Wow. And the big mall. Oh, yeah. This is one of the biggest malls we have. Maramol. Oh, yeah. there are several? Uh, no, yeah, there are several. Wow, amazing. Then uh, give you a several shout out. We have, you have a social media account? Yeah, only IG. Fate only Tasha. IG. Faith? Tasha. Faith Tasha. Black Geo! <laughs> like and subscribe. So, my name is Kosi Africa. I'm a traveler and a YouTuber from Kenya, Africa. With me. Shabby from the Black Geo. So we're taking an escalator in one of the biggest malls we have in Kenya. The Modern Mall, one of the famous malls around the world. Yeah. Let's go catch Black Geo and go see Africa all. We got a famous guest behind us, but you know, we don't yeah. we'll say the names, people. They, this is the place you are doing an interview with uh, Namimi. Yeah, Namimi was right here in the legendary spot. Yeah. Today, today is a holiday. It's a public holiday okay. in Kenya. Yeah. Do you know the, 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 the day? No, I don't know. You can tell you me know? about it. Ah, <laughs> but they, depending on the generation you belong to, okay. you name the, the day differently. Okay. For me, I used to celebrate the day as uh, Moi Day. Okay. Some guys are celebrating the day as Mazingira Day, okay. in the environment. I was about you have some other people celebrating the day. Okay. It's okay, bro. Okay. We have some other guys celebrating the day as... Uh, uh, Uduma Day. I don't know. Who's right? Leave a comment there if you're watching me from Kenya. So the day has evolved to different generations. Now it's an environment. Exactly. Day. So environment we are day. even not sure which uh, <laughs> which event are we celebrating. Yeah. But it's an holiday. If you go to the street, the streets are empty. And uh, you ever... Yeah. People are not working. Yeah. yeah. Though we have to say those guys are doing hawking, what we call bending. They have vendors in the streets. And uh, 
We got famous club yeah, behind famous, us. Yeah, famous club. Many famous uh, clubs here. I used to be upstairs. I'm still mad about the Manhattan Club. Myra Mall is a secret club. I like people go, like going to Next Gen Mall, Two Rivers. But Myra is very cool, very easy to get to. Nighttime, a lot of people pull up here after the clubs. The tunnel, very close here to the Myra Mall. Come here after the tunnel. It's just like a club. You ever came here uh, at the Myra Mall? Three, four o'clock in the morning is like a club. People don't know. Go see Africa. I came here three in the morning. <laughs> Everybody leave the club to come here in the morning. Amazing. It's crazy. And of course, they got the chicken ends and the galitos outside for the hood people. So you can go get that too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's Amazing. how small it is. Yeah. Tell me something about your experience in Kenya so far. What's up, guys? Ah, man. Kenya is home. What's up, guys? Come on, man. Come on, it's TV we show. We have a Go discussion a bit. Come on, guys. TV show. The Once in a Lifetime. What's a lifetime? Black Geo go see Africa. We travel the world for a living. When you pass by us, so we, we have a TV. new thing. TV okay. show. We have a discussion of this, right? Be the Black Geo, okay? This is Mr. Go see Africa right here. Go ahead. Oh, my name is Go see Africa. I'm a traveler. I'm okay. uh, from Kenya. So I want to have a discussion with you. Someone is coming to Kenya for the first time. What well, can you advise them? Suppose someone is coming to Kenya for the first time. Advise them, them something. <laughs> you don't show you guys. Then, it's an holiday today, public holiday. Which is the day? What are we celebrating today? Uh, Mazingira Day. Mazingira Day. Yeah. Mazingira means? Environment. Environment. Yeah. Environment. Bro, you don't know about the day. <laughs> but someone told me about Oduma Day. What's the difference between Mazingira Day and Oduma Day? When do you say? Do you celebrate or do my day? You're not sure? Yeah? And? Kenyans don't know what they are celebrating today. But thank you so much. You can tell them your name. My name is Ruben Kennedy. Ruben? Kennedy. Kennedy. Instagram? Yeah, show to yourself out. My name is Ruben Kennedy. Yeah. Uh, on Instagram? Instagram. Ruben Kennedy. Ruben Kennedy. Thank you. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you, brother. Thanks for go see Africa, Bro. Yeah, yeah. I've learned something about Kenyans. They what? don't know what's it. We may have a guest. Hey, how you doing, sir? We're doing yeah, a TV please. show. You want to join us? Can we have a discussion? We're part of a TV show. This is Mr. Ghosty Africa. I'm the Black Geo Studios. This is one of the biggest uh, TV personalities right now in Kenya, in Africa. So we hosted all his hosted an episode of this show. We're doing a nightlife video here in uh, Amara Mall. We started the CBD and we, uh, we added it to Amara Mall. So please join us right here. We do this across the world. We're based in Nairobi and New York City. So please, right here, join us right here. Just tell us about, this answers questions. This is a big time producer. Yeah. We'll get back. It's time by, by introducing yourself and tell us what you are celebrating today. So, uh, uh, my name is Sarah Godwin. I'm in Nairobi. I'm an icon as expert. Today we are celebrating our Mashida Day here in Kenya. Most important. Most important, we are celebrating about our heroes as the other side. Guys, you just saw uh, someone named the day differently from what other guys have been naming. But they, every Kenyan is celebrating a different day today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You That's talk to Masujade, someone else is talking of uh, Moide, someone else is talking of Mazingira so, uh, Day, then another guy is talking of Uduma. So the difference is that uh, every, every time there's a new government, they try to change the day. Oh, they change the day. Yeah, because during the time of uh, Moi, it was known as Mashida Day because of it was known uh, the first president of Kenya. That oh. was uh, Jomo Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. And during the time of Kibaki, it was called uh, Moi Day. Then it changed on. And then during the time of Uhuru Kenyatta, that was the last president, they changed it to celebrate the heroes because it was like generally. Because when they are saying they are celebrating on one hero, it was like excluding other heroes. But it keeps on changing. But the most important thing is, is we are celebrating a certain day that this somebody was able to take over the country to the next level. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, are, are, wow. the youth, are the youth really celebrating uh, this day? Do they really take this day seriously? The youth? Do they take this day seriously? Uh, in terms of the youth, yeah. uh, it is not easy for them to take seriously okay. because of the economy and the yeah. crisis. Because in these kind of situations, not everybody is going to celebrate the day. Mm -hmm. Because some people are trying to look at how with their finances will be at the end of the month. Yeah. Others are looking at uh, what about their bank, uh, how their bank accounts will be at. If you can observe around this mall, 
can see most of the shops are at Super Open. So it's showing that most of the people are not celebrating. They're still working. They're still working. So meaning that uh, it's only a few people are celebrating the day. Most of the people are celebrating this day are the government officials or maybe the exactly. people who are working maybe in the bigger jobs. But most of the youths, maybe the people who are trying to struggle to build the country, they are still these working. guys are still working. Some normal day. Yeah, if you go back to these companies down here, down maybe these companies along the place, the yeah, you find them still working. Right. So, but it, the day is taken seriously according to different distinction of the people there are when often inside the society. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. There is that one person out there who wants to visit Kenya. Advise them something. So, in terms of, uh, in terms of visiting Kenya, Kenya is a really amazing country in terms of uh, maybe uh, the industries. Let's say, for example, if you are an investor there, you can come and invest here. For example, you have so many truck marketing companies who are living in Kenya. And they're really doing amazing. Let's say, for example, these companies like Mgrobo, the Zoomers, these companies are not found by the Kenyans. These companies are found by those guys from other nations. Oh, like in the international companies. Yeah, like in the uh, Philippines and those other countries. So because they come from the other places, when they come here, they've got a good market because Kenya is a developing country. Whenever you invest a business here, it's able to grow. And in terms of maybe taking vacations, Kenya is a good place. I can't lie to you. I'm able to be in the early several places in Kenya and also in Miami Beach. Down in Mogadis, it's a good place for you to take on a good place and also relax the brain because it's a very good place, maybe. And also, don't forget to have, we have also our lives in Masimara, Serengeti, and also down to the we have the Flamingos and other places. So, it's a good place for the person who wants to come here. Kea. You can really come, it's a really amazing place. You can take a venture here, you can take a tour, and this is the best part about it. It's a good place for a business. I'm a business person, I do work from home, and I, I do e commerce opportunities for the last three years. I don't depend on the government to be other places. So, meaning Maybe. that if you can come here in Kenya, still you've got a good market because I'm my business to other countries, like in Zambia. Don't even try to be in Zambia. So, meaning that if you're an investor there, you're looking for a place to invest. Can still come here in Kenya because the new markets, there are so many people who are growing up, young generations who are motivated. These kids, they're looking for something to grow because right now, getting a job is like finding another job for yourself. But if you can come with that idea, you can come here and do it in Kenya, and also you can move to the next level. And it is really amazing. For each of you are out there, you're planning to come here to Kenya, it's a good place for you. There, if no other thing, come and test for yourself. If you think I'm lying to you, come and test for yourself, and you tell me at the end of the day because you never know something until you try the best. Yeah, that's all I wanted. Oh, bro, I, I like how you love your country and how you promoting it out there. So, by the way, last year, mm -hmm. yeah. Kenya was was voted as, uh, as one of the best countries. It was the best country to travel for this year, 2024. So, have you noticed any difference? This oh, is in terms of the difference, uh, it depends on how people perceive it. Because I can perceive the difference on how I'm able to locate the place. Some people out there they can see Kenyans on another levels, where others say Kenya maybe is a struggle. But no, it's already, already it was voted. It already was voted the best travel destination. So we expected that a lot of foreigners to be visiting this country. So have you seen and change have you seen visitors from outside visit our country it depends as i was telling you it's just perception let's look at this uh if you're having people coming to kenya maybe they're coming maybe with a different distinction so like in kenya uh during the time of uh, i know kenya had some struggles with some uh, demonstrations so many it was a bad time for them uh those guys were investors but those at the same time it's a good for the good time for other guys who are coming for vacations because they just realized that down, down in the army, we're having hotels being taken over. We have no even reservation for hotels. Oh. Showing that in terms of vacations, maybe it's a good place. But in terms of perceptions, it depends on how people are ranking it. But in terms of tourists, we're having tourists 24-7. I can't lie. When if the time we were having demonstrations, we had some tourists who came to help us do demonstrations. It shows that it depends on how people are perceiving it. It's a really amazing place because people come in, people go. It depends on what is bringing them here in Kenya. Yeah, that, point. that was the mind of an economist. Economist, right? E-commerce. E-commerce. So I'm unable to argue with him. I'm unable to ask him more questions because our thinking is quite different. <laughs> so in terms of it, uh, it depends on the perception of people because we go from different situations. But uh, we can reach the next level. So let's place, it doesn't matter which place you're coming from because uh, when you started in e-commerce, I was just at 18 years old. 
Nah, I was very young to the industry. I had so many people telling me that you can't do it, you can't perceive it. But that same same, same industry that uh, people say that's that for me, just able to make me become a millionaire, not expecting my degree inside the university. So I can tell people it's, it's how you perceive yourself. Because if you are just at 75, you can see yourself that you can't become somebody in life. But at the end of the day, you can become somebody. Because there's some bodies at 85 who say, I wish I could have become a millionaire when I was just 18. Right? Just perceptions. But it's uh, about how people perceive the reality. And even the Bible says, how you think it, it's how you become it. Same thing, how you perceive your reality is how everything comes into reality. How you perceive your reality is your reality. It's all about it. It's all about how you perceive yourself and the rest of it is quite easy. Once you have the right mindset, the right uh, tools inside the mind, and what you're feeling yourself in the brain. Because if I go there out there, I feel myself my garbage. Those people maybe in the streets, the people are not thinking about the growing the economy. People are not even thinking about making money because success is not for everyone. So it's all about how people perceive it. Some person who sees success, something like that. But other people are seeing it as a fortune for other people to make money, right? Because when there is a hard economy, other people are seeing a problem to be solved. Yeah. Others are not seeing the other side. Yeah? Because let's say for example, during the time of demonstrations, some people are seeing it as fun as demonstrations. But I imagine there's that one guy who was selling the mask. There's that one who was selling cold gates. There's that guy who was selling water. How much did he make on that? Yeah, they made he made a serious income. Right? But there was another person saying, trees are no demonstrations, there's no economy, so there's no entertainment, I can't open my shop, I can just relax at home. But there's another guy who saw the other reality about it, because personally, there's this guy called uh, Jim Ron. He's one of the best uh, business philosophers. He says one thing, there's two people who wake up in the morning. One person wakes up and he sees the and says, let me just go to bed. Another guy wakes up in the morning saying, wow, what an opportunity. Because even the sales person will be at the bed. So let me just go there say, and do my best. Same thing in this economy. It depends on how people perceive the reality. Because how you perceive the reality, everything else is easy from there. Wow. Amazing. We had uh, one of the most interesting discussions I've ever had. Uh, over Hawaii, so I have a, I have a disorder. Yes. Tell me something. Yes. Anytime I'm seeing Kenyan ladies around, mm -hmm. I always find myself turning around and look at them, and uh, I sometimes I comment. My my subscribers, uh, my viewers, always complain when uh, the video ends without me appreciating a Kenyan lady. So I don't know whether it's a disorder or it's normal. Okay, so it depends. It depends on people on how they perceive it because. Some people want to see the Kenyan ladies. On the other side, maybe the beauty is how they look like. But it depends on the deeds. But it's just perception of people how they look at it. The most important thing is as long as the video goes viral, nobody cares about it. It's yeah. like for me, like I open up a shop and yeah. I start saying like, okay, there's nobody coming to the shop, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's that one girl coming to the shop. Yeah. That case is more important than those guys who say no. Yeah. For me, I take it the perception because it only takes one win to suffocate all your losses. The videos only takes on time. If there's a good video, it's just trend it. Doesn't need to have a, maybe an amazing part or maybe amazing view. It's all about how to perceive it. Let's say for example, if I'm good, I'm just good. It's like my brand. If my brand is good, everything else is good. There's that guy who says, I don't know, maybe you're having a high energy levels, maybe you're telling people the realities. It depends on how they perceive it. You just need one guy who just agrees because you can't control everybody. You just need one guy to agree to it. And then that guy will respond to other guys who are positive and then they plug on to it. Oh, That's all about it. Good. Let's talk about Nairobi nightlife. Yes. How is the nightlife here? Okay, nightlife, uh, I can't say, say about it because I'm not a fan of You're going out to the night because I've got time to run my business That's and do meetings. That's what I'm talking about. Like like you know what people like think? You start thing. making money and yeah. that's where you start going out. Mm -hmm. Nightlife, that's yeah. where you start dating. That's where you go, go get more money. Yeah. So you start getting money, that's where you go get more money. Yeah, that's Remember sure, that. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. You start getting money, that's where you go get more money. Not to go have fun. Okay. That's what I'm about to do in a few minutes. Wow. <laughs> it's not about it. it depends on people because you can it depends on you. You can either decide you rest your right because when you go the outside, you're not earning anything else. Yeah. You're just spending more. Let's say for example, oh, you are I just go to the bar, I spend some out of my cash on some uh, expensive bottles. What will happen to me? Tower. Tomorrow I'll just wake up in the morning and they say what? So I've returned back to the same situation. Let's say for example, I'm trying to pay my rent. I go to a night cab on a Friday and then I come up on a Saturday morning, still having some uh, Hangovers, hangovers and I'm feeling some awkward because I spend the money you have to spend on the other side. I yeah. lost a lot of money there. So it's only about, but it depends on people how they take their lives and about everything else. But the most important thing is taking care of your body and the health and your mindset and mentality. That's why it's just bullshit. So with me, I met John Wombua TV. John Wombua yes. TV. Yes, yes. <laughs> One of the famous guys we have in Nairobi. <laughs>
most famous guy, is it? I'm not filmmaker, the famous filmmaker. I've met several filmmakers, but you are the only famous filmmaker. Wow. You know, anytime I'm going to introduce myself, I give myself uh, the credit of being the best. Oh. So you are the best filmmaker. Oh, thank you. Good to know that. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Advice wow. anyone who would like to visit uh, Kenya. Uh, okay, tell them. All I can say is that uh, Kenya is a beautiful country. And uh, whoever wants to come to Kenya should not be held by anything uh, on coming to Kenya because Kenya is the most wonderful country that you can ever visit. Uh, we love people. Uh, we have all the resources that we need, like you can see. See all this beauty. Yeah, some beautiful people. And you know, yes. you know I love beautiful people. Yes, beautiful people. <laughs> and, and, of course, and of course, beautiful places. As you can see. The sieges. Look at this. Yeah, yeah I, can, I can see it. Yeah, I can sieges. see it. We have uh, Imara at Cafe. Yeah. We have, we, we have all this here. Amazing. So, Kenya is definitely a beautiful country and a country that is growing very fast. Mm. That reminded me we have some big elephants somewhere there. Yes, elephants. Yes, wow. elephants too. Elephants. And for those of us who love wildlife, I think for those of us who love game, this is the best place to, to be. You come to Kenya, visit our game parks, see what we have to offer. Wow. Yes. Uh, about racism, do you have any uh, sort of racism in Africa, in Kenya? Personally, I've never come across a racist nation in Kenya. We love everybody. I would Se say that we love everybody. Well, security? Security is tight. As you can see, security is tight. <laughs> and we have, I have security behind the camera. I like how you praise yourself. Yes, security is tight <laughs> in Kenya. Wow, amazing. In Kenya. So let, not, let, let, not, not, let no one tell you that you, you're not safe when you're in Kenya. Feel safe, like right now it's night, as you can see. Yeah, it's night time. Yes, and we are out here. So now. basically we 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 filming nightlife. Imagine you filming. No, nobody has snatched our GoPro. <laughs> wow. Yes. Amazing. So you guys, you need to check out uh, Wambua, John Wambua TV. Yes, John Wambua on TV. YouTube. That's what's up. Make sure you support him. Yes, and go see Africa. Go see Africa. Go see Africa. Yeah, we showcasing Africa to the world. Yes, man. The same way. This guy, ah, uh, is such an, an an energetic guy. Anytime he wakes up, he's at the park. He's showcasing animals, <laughs> showing you animals. <laughs> wow, amazing. So thank you so much, and thank you for giving this stuff to be on your on your on your, on your screen. Let me put on, it like that. Stress. On your TV. <laughs> Let me put <laughs> it like stress. that. And I love yeah. your job. Keep yeah. up the good job. Thank and you. And guys, thank make you. sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you like. Make sure that you, you share, share, the link. share the link. Share the link. Share the link. Share the link. Let the world know that there is Go See Africa. Go See Africa. Yes, that's what's up. Wow. So, I want to be handy the video here. My name is Gossi Africa. I'm a traveler and a YouTuber from Kenya, Africa. Have a good bye.